Hi guys, I've just got a short video for you today, it's a review. Um, please excuse the fact that I'm in my work uniform, I have to go almost straight after I finish doing this. Um, but you can't really see it, so that's okay. Um, the book I'm reviewing is Charm by Sarah Pinbra. It is a Cinderella retelling. Um, I was very apprehensive when I started reading this. Um, I didn't like it at the start. Um, one of the differences is that Cinderella is a very selfish character and it's not so much that she's hated by her stepfamily and made to do all of the housework, but that she resents them because they are a stepfamily um, and she only has her share to do, really, but she just whinges about it a lot. Um, and because she was so selfish and a bit of a brat, that I didn't like her. And I didn't really get into this until the end of the third chapter, which is when the evil queen came in, and then it got really, really, really intriguing. Um, it is worth the read. I gave it on, I think, three and a half stars on Goodreads. No, actually, I think it was four. Um, yeah. Uh... There are a few differences to the main fairy tale, um, apart from ones that I've just mentioned, um, and that is that Cinderella's father is still alive. Um, like I said, Cinderella isn't made to do all of the housework. Um, she just thinks that she is. Um, and, oh gosh, now I've forgotten the others. Um, the sisters aren't ugly, they're just not pretty. You know, Cinderella is like stunningly beautiful and they're not as beautiful as her, so she thinks that they're ugly. Um, it incorporates other fairy tales. It's got elements of Robin Hood, Hansel and Gretel, Sleeping Beauty and Snow White, um, <clears throat> which all tie in really, really nicely. Um, there's also... Um, there's a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale called Snow White and Rose Red, which is not the Snow White we know and love. It's just a different one with the same name in it. Um, but one of Cinderella's stepsisters is called Rose, and at one point her mother refers to her as Rose Red, which I thought was just a really nice shout-out to one of the other lesser-known fairy tales. Um, it is a very interesting take. It does very much turn the fairy tale entirely on its head. Um, it's... Definitely a more adult retelling of it. Um, there's a lot of sort of sex in it, um, more than you'd expect from a fairy tale, I guess. Um, and there is elements of the grim version of the fairy tale with the stepsisters and their feet. Um, and yeah, there. I was originally just gonna just read this one and then let the series lie. This is the second one. The first one is called Poison and the third one is called Beauty. But then there was a really big twist at the end with Snow White and the Evil Queen, which I loved. Um, I keep calling her the Evil Queen. She's not actually evil. More like Regina from Once Upon a Time, I guess. But the, she's sort of on the, the bad side of this, so I'll call her the Evil Queen. Um, yes, there's a big twist with Snow White and the Evil Queen, which also turns Snow White fairy tale on its head. And I just loved it so, so much. And now I'm really interested to read the first one, which I hope will explore that a little bit more. Um, yeah, so, four out of five stars for Charm by Sarah Pinbra. If you enjoy the any fairy tale retellings or if Cinderella is your favourite and you especially like Cinderella retellings, I would definitely recommend this because it is exceedingly well done and definitely worth the read. So, yeah, that's all for me today. I'll see you when I see you. Bye, guys.